Hey everybody, before I get into the footage on this hike, I just wanted to go over the hike I did and um, just a little bit about the park so we have some idea of what we're doing. I finished the hike a few days ago and took a, a couple days to recover. My body was pretty beat up. Um, so the hike I did, it was in Grayson Highlands State Park in southwestern Virginia. And I love this park because every time I go at least... And I go in the winter, so it's, um, I don't know what it's like in the summer, but it's so far away from everything that there's really very little people there. I hardly ever see crowds and crowds of people there. I mean, it really is far away from everything. And it is actually my favorite hiking on the East Coast because of, you know, the difficulty, what it looks like, you know, the pony. It's just a lovely place. Um, so the hike I did, if you just Google hiking upward and then Mount Rogers slash Wilburn Ridge, this is the hike I did. And um, it's slightly modified from this, as in I was, I actually started here. It's a loop. So I started around the 11-mile mark, which is uh, the southern portion at Massey Gap. And Massey Gap is a parking area within the state park. This hike wants you to park um, on the side of a... Virginia Road, and I just didn't want to do that. Here's the tracker data on my hike. It was 21.44 miles total. Um, nine hours, nine minutes. This was average pace. The, you can see all that. Elevation profile. All that good stuff. So let me just go over the route really quick. So the entrance to the state park would be here and you drive a few miles to get to Massey Gap and this is the main parking area. It's very hard to miss. Uh, so <clears throat> we need to get up to the Wilburn Ridge which is basically the Appalachian Trail and that's located here. So we start off here. Um, this is the Rhododendron Trail and then you can take either the Appalachian Trail connector or the Wilburn Ridge trail um to get up there i took the wilburn ridge trail which i regret because it was just like wet and and it took a lot of energy really early on the first couple of miles actually took me a whole hour just because of taking this trail and just warming up my body and so forth but we would go um westbound on the appalachian trail i believe this actually does go north um there's a trail to go to Mount Rogers, the highest point in Virginia at 5,700 feet uh, and change. Then it continues along the Appalachian Trail. And as you can see here, the Appalachian Trail will just continue on to wherever it goes. Um, but for this hike, Mount Rogers, Wilburn Ridge, we go on the Mount Rogers Trail and this traverses the uh, northwest part of Mount Rogers. Um, I had mishaps on this trail, um, as you could, this part was tricky because I ended up losing some stuff, but anyways, so around here, you get down off of Mount Rogers, it's a big decline, um, it, this is the lowest point of the hike, and this is a horse trail, the Fairwood Valley Trail, uh, it goes all the way this way until you rejoin the Appalachian Trail further back from where you were, and you just go this way, up Pine Mountain, with the summit of Pine Mountain being around here. Now, um, the original Mount Rogers Wilburn Ridge hike would go this way and go to a place called Scales. But at this point, it was getting dark, so I uh, decided to just head on to the parking lot. I I actually was already at Scales in 2015 when I went previously, so I knew I wasn't missing anything. Um, so as night fell, I was on this Pine Mountain Trail. It's very dark and rainy. Um, and then we took um, this way home. My pace was very slow because it was dark and I was having trouble keeping... I, I was just making doubly sure that I was going where I thought I was going. I'm a big navigation freak. Anyway, we uh, finished around 7.30 p.m. It's nighttime. Uh, but you'll see more details now onto the footage. Up here in Massey Gap, and it's quite a different day than it was yesterday. Yesterday was really bright and warm, and while the temperature right now is probably not too cold, it's probably in the 50s, it's quite windy. So anyway, um, first things first, it's the Rhododendron Trail, and this will connect to the Highlands Connector Trail. 
which will connect to the Appalachian Trail, which is going up this thing called Wilburn Ridge. Now, like most highlands, most people come for the views of the highlands to see some ponies here, and uh, that's it. So it, I will see some people along the first couple miles of this, but most likely I won't see that many, especially since it's like overcast. I'm hoping it clears up. Here yeah, I've got my speed walk jacket. It's perfect for like winter, but like not too, too cold. Like if it's like around 10 or something, I get my down jacket, but this is really good. Lots of pockets. And uh, underneath I'm wearing just a wicking layer t-shirt. What am I packing today? Uh, it's a camelback. Oh, I forgot to put the Gatorade in. Reminds me, there's a Gatorade I need to put in my backpack, but it's cool. I will be all right. Um, I have water. I actually have my stove. When it comes to nighttime, I would like to have dinner here under the stars. It's 10 o'clock. It's 22, 23 mile loop. And uh, it should take me about eight hours. I think I should finish between six and seven. It's gonna be really dark when I get back, but got my new headlamp, really good one. And uh, yeah, just uh, heading up. Okay, first major intersection. Well, this is the Appalachian Trail here. Um, this uh, dirt path here, whereas this gravel path is. Uh, Yeah, about west. So, anyways, and to continue on, I just wanted to share these beautiful views. If you ever wonder why they're called the Blue Ridge Mountains. living here in the great We're at the intersection. It's a little confusing. There are a lot of horse trails and they do the things a little differently. Um, sometimes they tell you, instead of the trail you're on, what trail you're going to. So um, signage here is a, bit, a little bit weird. Yeah. So we're going to the Appalachian Trail heading west towards Mount Rogers. That There's no actual view up there. In fact, the best view I probably got was up on Wilburn Ridge, which I'm looking at over there. But um, really beautiful scenery. We're at the uh, Lewis Fork Wilderness, you can see behind me. Everything is looking really good. Everything is going according to plan. It took me an hour to go just two miles, but let's just uh, chalk that up to, um, let's just chalk that up to, uh, you know, me getting started and taking some footage at the beginning. But that's not a good pace. That means 10 hours to finish this, at least, because it's not only 20 miles, it's, um... Yeah, but the Wilburn Ridge Trail took a lot of time. Um, choosing to go that route. 
I wouldn't do it again. You had to go up and over the ridge. It was very rocky and slippery. But the Appalachian Trail is much smoother. It should go a lot faster. I remember seeing these kind of trees in the, uh, the Rhone Highlands as well. It's raining. It's Wednesday. But it's also all good. I mean, it looks worse than it is. I'm staying pretty dry. I have a hood if I need to use it, but I don't think it's necessary. Heading up to Mount Rogers now. Just talk to the wife. I have single here, which is a good or bad thing. <laughs> I love talking to her. She's so worried about me all the time. She's convinced that these areas are nothing but bears and slipping rocks and falls to your death, but as you can see, it's not that bad. It's the Appalachian Trail. Oh, I'd love to hike this one day, actually. I don't know if I do. I don't like being outdoors too many days in a row, to be honest with you. I'm too addicted to uh, bubble baths be like that. So. Heading up to Mount Rogers. <clears throat> and what I remember, I, I was here five years ago as well. What I remember the most about this is for some reason the summit of Mount Rogers is like pretty isolated and like shielded from the wind. And it's like a very calm little forest. And you can just see here the vibrant greens here. It's just, uh, whew. It's a beautiful little forest walk. We're about two hours in, a little over four miles, so the pace is definitely getting better. We're heading to uh, Mount Roger Summit, 5,700 feet, approximately. Uh, I don't know the exact figure. Well, we're here at the Mount Roger Summit. This rock, I think, is supposed to be the summit, like, it's not really a prominent summit. As you can see, there's no views up here. People just go here to peak bag, I guess. Even though the Mount Rogers peak is not really anything. But anyway, so we saw the summit. Now we're going to head back down. I remember last time I was here, I was so confused how to get back down. Because basically, um, the trail just kind of dips down that way. And it's like, if you don't remember that fact, you might have trouble like finding it again. At least I did last time I was here, I was freaking out. And uh, luckily some other people were there and more sensible than me. <clears throat> anyway, heading back to the Appalachian Trail now, now that we made the summit, even though, you know, but you know, it's worth it because of this forest. I mean, like the greens of this forest are just amazing. Oops. It was that. And of course I went off trail while filming. Good for me. Well, I'm on the Appalachian Trail, heading to Mount Rogers Trail. Now this part is all new for me, but I'm heading towards a place called Deep Gap, uh, and uh, I'm gonna turn northeast on the Mount Rogers Trail to the, and that'll end up in the Grindstone Campground, which is like the northeast terminus of this loop. Uh, but yeah, this is all new. I mean, it looks familiar, but this part is actually all new for me. Because last time I was here, I uh, went uh, east first and then circled counterclockwise. So this is my first time on the uh, western part of Mount Rogers. Uh, yeah. We uh, we just crossed the three-hour mark and we're 6.8 miles in, which is okay. We're definitely improving our pace. Um, we'll get miles of down below 25 minutes, so that'll add up during this 20 plus something hike. Yeah, there's just been a lot of this. If I could get to the 10 mile mark by 4, 
before four and a half hours, I'd be really thrilled. I, and I think this hike will have a nice happy ending. Yeah, we're going back up. It's gonna get rocky. Whew. up so seven miles and change in Mount Rogers Trail still I know this pace will be at least three minutes slower because I actually fell and landed on my left knee which hurt a lot like and I sit down and just like rub it and I was just worried that I couldn't be able to continue because like right after I fell I couldn't walk and I just needed to rest it's okay now but Ooh, it's still throbbing. It hurt. One thing I want to mention is that, do you know how, like, you know, climbers die in climbing accidents? Like, very experienced ones. And, like, very experienced hikers go missing and so forth. I believe, like, me falling was just an example of just me getting too comfortable. Like, every time you're out in the woods... You have to use caution every single time. And you have to maintain focus. I was just kind of like daydreaming, not paying attention. Then I slipped to the left. And then before I knew it, I was on the ground. I was just like, crap. It's almost 2 o'clock. And night will start falling. I mean, by like 5, it'll be dark. By 6, it'll be night, I imagine. No matter how many times I do this, no matter how old I am, there's nothing... Being in the forest at night is never not scary. I crossed the 10 mile mark not too long ago. It's about uh, four hours and 15 minutes. In. Although that 10 mile mark wasn't a victory as I had to backtrack a good quarter mile as something happened, that was a huge setback. I, uh, like, when I closed my backpack, I just put two loops to the center, to the top. And, and I've done this no a number of times, and, uh, basically, I'm going down a few switchbacks, and the trail was smooth enough that I was running a little, just, like, kind of jogging, not, like, a full-on run. And that was being bouncy and caused my backpack to open, and stuff started falling out. And I didn't realize it until I heard a thud and I saw my freeze-dried meal on the ground. And I was just like, what? How did that happen? And I was like, oh my god, my backpack opened. So, basically, I had to backtrack and what else, what else fell was my night kit. And that, oh my god, if I didn't recover that, thank god it's in like a bright green uh, pouch and I found it just a little bit behind me. But what was on top of that was my weed, my pipe, my, like, a good gram of weed. And, and also, and what's most worrying, upsetting, is there was, like, $30 worth of, like, extract. You know, like, um, they, they call it, what do they call it? They call it crumble. But, like, shit. I mean, with the pipe and the weed and the extract, it's, like, a good like 60, 60, 70 bucks that I just lost. I just hope that whoever finds it makes use of it, like smokes it, has a good time. I did, I'm thinking maybe this mountain just doesn't like me. I mean, first I fall and hit up my knee, which is, I'm pretty sure it's bleeding. It feels very liquidy down there. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, I'll lose my weed. My backpack opens. I don't know. Be nice to this mountain, please. I try not to exploit you much. I, I do respect being here. Okay, so I'm at the intersection with the Grindstone Campground. Um, the Grindstone, if you went down that way, I don't know if you can see the trail, that would go to the Grindstone Campground. Now, this was like the origin point of the, the hike I'm doing. Originally, I'm just uh, doing it from Massey Gap instead. So, um... 
So I will be getting out of the Mount Rogers area now, soon. I'm kind of eager to be leaving. So this is uh, finishing the Mount Rogers Trail. And how I do just love how empty it is. I mean, I haven't seen a car on this road yet. Yeah, we're done with Mount Rogers. Hopefully this next section of the hike will be better. It's going to be 3 o'clock though, so it's getting late in the day. Yeah, so we're basically trying to find the horse trail. And according to the map, there should be like a little thing over here where I should be able to get on it. So, um, it's okay. Let's see, there's the horse trail. Flat Top Trail, Iron Mountain, Fairwood Valley Trail, just like. Okay, so there is a way, thank goodness. Fairwood Valley and the Northeast. Please be nicer to me than Mount Rogers was. Mount Rogers wasn't very nice to me. Yes, this is quite lovely. Now this is, when you say valley trail, this is what I'm thinking. So this is, I'm guessing, Fairwood Valley. I mean, I'm crossing definitely a low point here. Furious, I'm gonna have to go all the way back up, went down. Anyway, so basically at some point we're gonna run across the Appalachian Trail and then we're gonna go back south. I believe so. Yeah. Wow, this is beautiful. I'm trying to keep positive. Had a few setbacks, but uh, I mean, the sun's getting low. It's been overcast all day, so you know, it's a trail I was using to get here. Back on the Appalachian Trail. I'm going to go back to Grayson Highlands. We still have a ways to go, actually. Stats 13.25 miles in. Actually, less than that because I did have to backtrack to collect my stuff that had fallen probably going to be ascending. So, open up my jacket. Yeah. Well, up there is the old orchard shelter. Kind of in this low light, creepy looking, if I'm being honest. Doesn't look like anyone's staying the night here. Anyway, we're uh, just under 15 miles in. We have a good six plus to go. As a matter of fact, more than that, because some of that distance was backtracking. Yeah, it's probably past five now. I mean, it's going to be headlamp time soon, but still haven't finished climbing Pine Mountain. When am I going to get to the top of this thing? I read in my trail notes that uh, there's a shortcut, and I might just do that just because... I just don't know what's, what the point is of doing extra time in the dark. We're at Pine Mountain. So this is a shortcut. It's two miles to the Roto Gap Trail, which is the tra trail I started on. I might do that because like it's getting dark. Look at behind me. That's a lot nicer. I'm 
might not get a lot of selfie shots as uh, my headlamp will blind the camera. Um, that's going east. That's not supposed to happen. I'm so confused. Uh, we'll figure things out, but um, basically, well, this says rhododendron guy. I'm sure it does go west. It just might be going east temporarily. So we're gonna go here. I'll check the map right after I do this. Uh, ooh, my camera is making quite the. I mean, it was one of the nicest headlamps money could buy. So I feel comfort in that, but still, being in the woods at nighttime is never. It's never a comforting feeling. The trail is becoming harder to spot. I would really appreciate more blazes. I am mean, going in the right general direction, but sometimes the trail just doesn't feel right. Come on, give me a blaze. Confirm for me. There, blaze. See the blue blaze. In the dark, it's harder to tell. Because you can't, because of the light, you can't really tell what's darker than something else, but. Just gonna make doubly sure before I make the turn, but. So, um. I'm over. Uh, here, and basically, I need to take a left to go south. Okay, so finally, we're heading back. So, Appalachian Trail, and that should go to um, actually Massey Gap. It is pitch black now, as you can see. I remember the first time I came here, I was amazed by how many stars I could see, but it's overcast. can't see a single one. That's kind of why I wanted to do this, honestly. But, uh, uh great. Now we're back in the open. It's so scary. Anyway, I better pay attention. What makes it so hard is that there's so much mist blowing that it's hard to see too far. I'm just, I'm thankful that the Appalachian Trail blazes are white. Because they're a nice reflective white, and when the trail's not so obvious, that's the problem. You can't see anything with the mist, I guess. Well, this should be the final trail. I don't know if you can see the city lights over there. Probably can't, but. Go ahead, we're gonna be back soon. Connector trail, and then I go to the Roto Nectar trail. That should be it. Oh, we made it. Let's see the steps. Uh, can you see my watch? Oh, what a glorious sight, my lovely car. 